My name is Holly Mulcahy. I teach social studies, mostly economics. This is my 21st year at Sandberg. My name is Mark Peterson. I teach consumer mathematics at Carl Sandberg High School. I've been here since the fall of 1991. My name is Jeff Weber. I've been in the district for nine years. This is my first year at Sandberg, and I teach U.S. history and world history. I'm Laura Schmuck. I teach French. I've been here for four years now. Hi, I'm Leslie Latronica, and I teach science. My name is Kathleen Buck. I teach math, and I've been here for it's my 17th year at Sandberg, 23rd year teaching overall. Hi, I'm Phil Januszewski. I teach science at Carl Sandburg High School as well. My name is David Riley. I teach special ed and I have been at Sandburg since the fall of 2009. So this would be my sixth school year. Um, I'm Annie Kelly. I student taught at Sandburg in uh, winter of 2013. I spent a year at Andrew and now this, I'm back here at Sandburg and it's awesome. My name is Ralph Rizutko. I have been at Sandburg for 25 years, even though I've taught for 37, and I teach math. I graduated from Carl Sandburg High School. I am a proud member of the class of 1988, which means that I am old. I went to Mother Macaulay High School, which is the largest all-girls school in the nation. I attended STAG, actually. Where did you attend high school? I went to the Victor J. Andrew High School of District 230, Consolidated High School District 230. And I'm older than you because <laughs> I am a proud member of the Resurrection High School class of 1985. I went to Mount Assisi Academy. I attended a small high school just over the state of Illinois and Wisconsin border called Wilmot Union High School. Went to a high school called Quigley Seminary South. I went to high school in a little place called Victor J. Andrew, uh, right up the road a little bit. It's home of the Thunderbolts. I was mostly a sports person, so I was a swimmer when I was a freshman, and I played basketball all four years, and I was an athletic trainer. So. I was actually pretty involved in high school. Uh, I played tennis, baseball, I was on the swim team, uh, and I was in the marching band. Um, and most of the activities I did were it was based around French. I was not a sports kid. Um, I was, uh, you know, the kid who studied every night and was in NHS in French club. Okay, so I was in um, choir for two years and um, track for two years, student council throughout. In uh, the three the three main sports: football, basketball, and baseball. And uh, you know, those sports just kind of help you uh, learn to work with other people. I wish I had been in other clubs. I was involved in football and track. And uh, I would say they definitely shape me as an individual, especially when it comes to being on the football team as a freshman. You start off with uh, summer camp. So before the school year actually starts, you get a chance to establish relationships. Feeling very much grateful that I was a part of like making a team or being part of either swim team or basketball and just feeling like there's that sense of camaraderie. Um, and I did lose an election for an officer junior year, so that kind of put me in my place again. So then I went back to being like a rep. So, um, you know, I didn't try to let that loss at the political level define me. My favorite memory of my senior year was getting acceptance letters to college. Favorite memory of sophomore year would have to be our high school swim team defeated um, Grand Blank High School at their Invitational, and they had never lost their Invitational before in like 50 years. My favorite moments from my senior year, one of them would have to be being part of the teaching internship program at Andrew High School. We used to have Illinois State Scholars, and that was based on your ACT score, which was sort of something I was proud of that. Uh, there isn't one specific memory. I just think the whole process of uh, searching for a college uh, was very exciting to me. I think the biggest uh, thing that I've learned was establish and maintain a good grade point average. And learn about the different colleges because finding that college that's a fit for you, not just maybe distance wise or money wise or size wise, but just finding out what they offer in terms of majors. You need to take advantage of the time you have and work hard in it because you don't have a lot of time. Time goes fast. Say so to join as many clubs and activities and sports as you can so you can uh, make friendships. Junior year is, is a tough year, you know, it's kind of ramping up. Uh, take it seriously. And establish connections with your teachers, coaches, and other peers. Nothing great is accomplished without passion. Even though it feels like college is still a year away, 
it, it's coming. It's coming for you fast. Not just a, a big name college or a great job that will get you money. It's what do you feel in your heart? I, I had fun with my friends. I got involved in school, so I don't have any regrets. I say if you keep working hard, be positive towards other people, good things are going to happen. It's a great day to be an Eagle. Once an Eagle? Always an Eagle. It is a great day to be an Eagle and continue having a great day. It's a great day to be an Eagle. It's a great day to be an Eagle and it has been for 25 years.